we've got the competitiveness, as, as mentioned, but we've also got the knowledge, so why not tap into it and find out the thoughts of a true legend on what makes a very, very good halfback. Now, first of all, I want to talk you through uh, this particular moment in a game that I'm quite fond of and what your thought process was as you were trying to defend this, uh, this particular breakdown. Yeah, it was, I think I was calling, Mayday, 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 <laughs> Marshy, please, don't make me look silly. Look at this, my position's terrible. This is a class oh, 101 man. on not how to defend a blind side. You always need at least another one or two people. Yeah. But Marsh, you had some speed then. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say no touch as well. Yeah, no, no touch. touch. I should call it. You did, did, did oh, you did call it? Touch. Call touch, touch. <laughs> now, look, let's get into the serious uh, stuff now. Um, first of all, I want to talk you through, you mentioned 99, um, the pass to Owen Finnegan. Yeah. Now, we want to analyse this, break it down, and what makes it work. Obviously, the pass probably set up the, the winning of the final. Um, but as you can see here, what's your thought process as you're going through this? Well, wanting to work the tail of the line-out. It, it was a set play, off a, I think it was off a six-man line-out. It was catch and feed, so we'd hold them. We really wanted to isolate the tail of the line-out, so we knew that the back row who was defending was going to come to me, yeah. and the person defending inside was a little bit sloppy and small, the little half-back. So Owen Finnegan was going to win that collision. We didn't anticipate Owen to run another 30 metres, which was pretty special and a huge effort. It was a big moment, but uh, that play was all set about trying to attack the back of the line out, the tail of the line out, we used to say, once we sort of open it up. So it was that inside ball, but you've got there's a bit to do with that inside was, ball, which that, is that important. That was a pass that actually was named the Gregan pass. What, what were you trying to do with that? Can you just quickly yeah, take us through that? I'll go to the defender here. I'll go to the defender. So if, I, if I was running the tail of the line at this defender, so Marshy's yeah. coming at me, always in two hands, I'm running, looking on the outside, mm. as I'm going to come, you come to me, you come yeah. to me. As soon as he's at that point where he can't really change direction, you deliver the pass. And the timing's got to be good from the person who's running. Owen Finnegan was pretty special at it. And he's just a matter of leaving it a little half pass, not too hard. Just catch it like a little butterfly, so to speak. That's where it's got to be. But if you went too early, yeah. if I throw that too early, the, the, the beauty of that is throwing it late. If You've you throw it too early, to you. yeah, the defender can actually yeah. adjust. Yeah. And good defenders will adjust. But if you make them commit, and you make them commit by actually taking that space and going at them as they're going to take the line on, hang on, I'm going to have to make the tackle, then you leave it. OK. The modern day will stop reminiscing about yeah. our great days. Um, Aaron Smith, you're a fan of the way that he gets at the breakdown and clears the ball. Uh, we've got some footage here of Aaron and what he's doing in the modern game. Well, he's just outstanding. Like, just look at his body position and the speed at which he gets to the breakdown. Um, he's a smaller guy, but it doesn't really matter that he's a smaller guy. It's all about the way that he sets him up, and that provides that consistency in his pass, the way he can transfer his weight. He knows where the target's going to be. There's a voice, and bang, he gets it out of his hands. That looks like it's a loose pass, but I think that was going for someone in front. I'll back you up there, Aaron. And here, you look how quickly he gets in. Look at his body position. That's so important. He's down and over the ball. And this is 90 seconds after the whistle's gone, yeah. and that sets up this winning try, which Cruden has two cracks at it, and they win. They keep that winning record going. And he had so much work to do. I'm always impressed by that because there's so much work which goes off the ball but also going into your approach as a halfback, which sometimes people don't understand. Well, well, and he, ex he exhibits that time after so, time. So let's talk about that. So this is the ball, this is the yep. breakdown that's sitting there. Now, what's your thought process? Are you looking at the players that are at the, at, at approaching the ruck, what's around the ruck, are you focusing on the ball and what's your technique? Well, as you're approaching, you're definitely scanning and seeing what you've got in terms of, OK, where, where is the threat? Potentially it's from the inside, potentially um, it's from the outside. Mm. But if the ball's there to clear and there's a voice, you're my, you're my, you're my target on the right, yeah. I'm looking to set myself as I'm getting down. And you used to say this loaded. And you're trying to get as close to the ball as you can, that's good footwork. There's always good footwork in all sports. And then you're staying loaded, and then you're hearing your voice. You're my, you're my first receiver on my 10, yep, yep. and I'm just transferring the ball there, Marshy, but I'm not yep. popping up, am I? No. I'm staying loaded and through the ball. And that requires good strength through your hips, through your glutes, but also through your core. And that's what provides a good, consistent pass. That repetition to stay loaded and strong over it. You won't, you won't have that inconsistency in your pass, and that's what's shown there really well by Aaron Smith. So the second part of that is not only uh, mm. passing the ball, but also supporting and... and TJ Perinara does it very well, doesn't he? So you've, you've implemented the pass, and then your next movement is to stay in the game? Yeah, well, two you're playing for. You throw the pass and look for the second touch. That second touch might be being at the breakdown really quickly so you can transfer it. Or that second touch, if you're playing for Wellington Hurricanes in the semi-final, yeah. might be a, an inside pass which leads to a try. But you can't do that if you're not supporting really well. And he's one of the best in the business. Like The All Blacks have two great halfbacks. But it's really well, you see the work that he does after he throws that pass, which sets up those second touches. So you've gone back, you go back to the breakdown where you said you cleared it, cleared it before. Yes. 
He's got the same loaded body position. So you've got to stay loaded. And you're yep. in that position. Doesn't matter how tall or small you are. You've got to be in this nice, strong position. You get rid of it. And who are you playing for? Are you playing for your team? Or are you playing for the opposition? If you're doing that after you've thrown the pass, you're playing for the opposition. And it's going to be hard to get that next breakdown. Yep. If you're playing for the opposition, you throw it. And then you get down the field. That's so important. Yeah. Because then you can support. Then you get those second touches. If there's a tackle, you're at the breakdown. Or you're there to clean out. But you're playing for your team. And TJ Perinara does it so well. There you have it, everybody. The best knowledge in the game.